What does consent of the governed mean? It is the idea that the people willingly grant power to their fellow citizens to govern a nation. Thus, the government receives all its power from the people. Without it, the government cannot exist. Of course, things weren't always this way. Kings and queens historically ruled over lands and people by claiming a divine right to power. The idea that governments should work for the people and be made up of the people was revolutionary for its time. America's founding fathers enshrined in the Declaration of Independence their beliefs that governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. They firmly believed that the government must protect people's rights of life, liberty, property, and the pursuit of happiness. The Founding Fathers felt strongly about preventing the emergence of autocratic rule in America, even in the hands of its duly elected leaders. George Washington, our first president, exemplified these ideals. He won the war, served his people, and then returned to his farm, this man who would not be king. Of course, our government has become much more complex and expansive since the days of George Washington. Although our constitution preserves the original ideals upon which our nation was founded, it's not uncommon these days to hear calls for more centralized power concentrated in the hands of a few benevolent leaders, presumably for our own benefit. These notions are contrary to the very spirit and idea of the United States, a republic of free and equal citizens governed through their own consent. To know, remember, and uphold these foundational principles is the duty of each citizen. It is both a duty and a privilege we must all cherish and preserve. Our freedom depends on it.